There are very few things that you interact with as much as you do with the Windows taskbar, which, which is a small bar found at the bottom with all of the different apps that you can open and you can essentially see all the different apps that are open. So in this video, I want to show you some of the tips and tricks regarding the taskbar, especially surrounding, you know, um, customizing the taskbar in um, some indirect ways with some pretty cool results, such as um, centering all the icons of a taskbar, removing certain icons and just making it look really clean, as well as showing you guys a couple of keyboard shortcuts in relation to the taskbar. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so now that we're on the laptop again, we can check out the how to start customizing toolbar. The first thing I want to show you guys is actually how to make the toolbar nice and clean. And how you can do that is actually just going on the toolbar with your mouse and hitting right click on it. And this should bring up this context menu. And from there, you can sort of see the different things. So I've actually hit in search because um, search is really easy. Like all, all I have to do is just hit windows and then you can start searching again. And it doesn't have that, you know, it basically clutters up the taskbar in my opinion. So I just have it to hit in. I have all these things off. So it'll probably, a lot of this will be checked for you uh, by default. So just uncheck all of these things. Um, I, yeah, pretty much just have everything unchecked here as you guys can see. And I would say that this is best. And actually, from there, the next tip is to actually move it around. All you have to do is make sure that the lock taskbars, like this option is unchecked. So once you've unchecked it, all you have to do is hold it and drag it to a corner. So I'm dragging it to the right, dragging it to the top, dragging it to the left. In my opinion, uh, you could do it to the top, sort of make it like uh, Mac in a way, but I personally prefer the bottom because it looks the most cleanest and it's just the one I'm most familiar with. So from there, we can move on to actually centering the taskbar. And how you do that is um, by going in toolbars, clicking on new toolbar. And what you wanna do here is you basically just wanna go to any random folder and you just wanna go and create a new folder by using this and this new folder, just call it toolbar. Uh, as you can see, I already have it. And the name doesn't matter, it's just a dummy name. So they uh, make sure it's empty and then select folder and make sure that you're, you're never gonna put anything in it. So all you need to do now is you'll sort of see this pop up, right? And yeah, once again, make sure that lock task, all taskbars is off. So you, so you should be seeing these different lines here. So what you wanna do is uh, take this line. So, you know, click, hold it, drag it all the way to the left side. Once it's here, it should look something like this. And now what you can do is go to this line, which is our main taskbar and sort of move it. And all you need to do is sort of manually sort of make sure that it's in the middle. I can't really fully see if it's in the middle, but you know, this seems about right. And when you think it's about right, what you want to do is go back to here, right click on it and bring up this context menu then go in, show text off, go back, show title off. Now you can see it's much cleaner. You know what you need to do? Task, uh, oh, no, not task manager. My bad. All you need to do is hit lock all taskbars. And as you can see, it, um, it does it. So yeah, just a quick tip. It it sort of squishes this to the right, uh, to the left a little bit because of this. So this disappears. So I'm recommending it sort of offsetting it a bit more to the left and then locking all taskbars. There we go. So that, that sort of gives it a much cleaner effect and looks a lot nicer. And then another tip is to actually increase the size of the taskbar. I need to do is just go here towards the edge, make sure lock all taskbars is unchecked. And just increase the width here. And you can just do lock all taskbars. And you can actually edit the different size of these icons by going here. And um, where do I have this? So I have use small taskbar icon to have that off. So these are actually pretty large taskbar icons. But if I undo this and just move it here, it looks nice and you can play around with these different settings, making it really small. Um, and one last thing that I want to show you guys is one really easy way uh, to make this a lot cleaner is to go in here and do always hide labels. Um, because let's say like, let's have a Chrome tab open. Let's just open up Chrome tab first. Let me lock the taskbar. Uh, let's say we have a Chrome tab open, you know, doing, um, let's just say go to my personal website, you know, might as well. But let's say we have that, we have Wikipedia. Let's say we have two different here tabs. So we would essentially just have these two different tabs. And if, if you have that setting on, so let's say I have the setting of 
um, combined taskbars number. So you would sort of get this. Uh, let me actually just not do the recentering. Yeah, let's just keep it to the default. Make it things a bit easier for right now. But yeah, so it it sort of looked like this, and you know maybe some people enjoy this thing, but I personally think it doesn't look that great. So I just um, I just do always hide labels, and this just makes it a lot more cleaner. It looks a bit more like map as well, but yeah. And actually recenter again. Just drag this all the way to the right. There we go. Drag this back on. Looks about right, actually. There we go. Lock taskbar, and we're good to go. And the last tip I want to show you guys is actually regarding the keyboard shortcuts. So let's say that you have, you know, on your taskbar, you probably have the apps that you use the most here. So to actually quickly access them, you can actually just go hit the Windows key and hit one of the number keys, right? So let's say I have, let me close up my Chrome again. Just demonstrate. So I had my Chrome on the first one because I open Chrome a lot. And the really easy way to open Chrome is just for me to hit win Windows and then number one. So as you guys can see, it's loading and there we go. It opened up Chrome. Let's say I want to open up the second uh, app here, which is Visual Studio Code. That's what I used to do all my coding with. Uh, it opened on another tab, but as you guys can see, it did open up. It, it, it opened in a different window because I'm recording with two different monitors. It opened on the other monitor, but as you guys can see, it did open up. And if I had Windows 4, you guys can see it goes up to here. So I believe it only supports up to number 9, so you can't do like Windows 1 and then 0. Plus, that would be pretty efficient because you have to have three different fingers like on the buttons. So I, that's why I usually organize in such a way that the first nine are the easiest and in the order, right? So Windows 1 is very easy to do. So I usually have that be my most used app, which is Chrome in my instance. So that's been it for this video guys. If you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comment section below and definitely be sure to give it a like. If you guys have any future video idea suggestions, definitely let us know in the comment section below along with any feedback. And definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are interested in the content we're making and would like to be updated or just follow along for future videos as we'll be covering similar topics and even new topics that we want to help you guys with regarding tech, you know, tech tips, budget tech and things like that. So that's been it for me. Peace.